Can we go from the theory to the practice right now? So from the case studies that you have, so any case study you want to share, of course, without going to details or some achievements that you want to do? Because I think one of the things that, um, especially when it comes to cybersecurity, is it's the challenges that is becoming affecting everyone. Everyone was somehow affected by, of course, if you are in business, and people in my audience are a lot, uh, a lot of people in tech. Uh, but if you look at anyone, got somehow access to some scammers, some issues with cybersecurity. But of course, there's big cases and the quantity of hackers. And normally, we only talk about the bad things, but there's great things happening as well. Uh, and as well, the fact that the world economy survived during COVID was partly because of our robustness of our technology. And normally, we talk about the issues of coverage analytica, all the, the disgrace of the fakes and all this stuff, but that's a great thing. So. Um, from your experience, a case study of positive and you can go for a negative, stuff like that. But I think it's very important for people listening to us. But when I talk, especially when it talks about cybersecurity and the areas that we're talking, because you, your company is cybersecurity and capital. So it touched finance and finance is a sacred cow that affects. So just the, the statistics say that uh, most of the banks worldwide are losing billions of dollars in scams every day. So and that is not going to change. Probably the metaverse is going to have other challenges. And of course, anything related with from crypto to blockchain to, um, of course, AI is going to be creating other challenges. So I'd like to hear from your experience one or two case studies that you want to share with us. Yeah, absolutely. So in the financial services industry, so... Financial services company are, are actually the biggest investors and spender in, in, in cybersecurity and cybersecurity solutions. So um, just to give you a, a ballpark estimate, the IT budget of a, of a company, of, of, of a bank, is, is around 10% of, of global revenues. And the cybersecurity budget is around, um, is around uh, yeah, between 10% of the, the overall IT budget. Um, but definitely the, the banks... Um, they're actually the, the biggest investors in cybersecurity solutions. And uh, we, we've been working in, in um, financial services with uh, uh, challenger banks, fintech, um, corporate banks, commercial banks, uh, and, and inter so, so some interesting case studies. So we, um, we defined the security strategy for global digital corporate banking group with presence in Singapore, Middle East, Africa, Europe. And... Uh, um, I think that we have to look at cybersecurity from a digital transformation perspective. So for example, that particular case study is, um, is a cloud uh, native bank. So, so we actually built uh, the, 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 the fintech company, the bank from scratch natively in, in the cloud, which has a, a lot of um, advantages in the sense that uh, we, we can start with uh, with, um, uh, with all the benefits that cloud computing is bringing. And incumbent banks are, are, are kind of facing different challenges because they, they are inheriting from a lot of, uh, from a lot of uh, kind of legacy layers of legacy solutions. So, so different approaches. Um, so, 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 uh, so, so, so digital transformation, when we look at cybersecurity from a digital transformation, transformation perspective, we have to realize that all industries are, uh, are adopting new ways of working or adopting um, new paradigms in terms of uh, uh, on-premise operations, in terms of cloud operations, in, in terms of hybrid models that are um, kind of uh, uh, taking into account private and public clouds and multi-cloud environments. So uh, th there's a convergence between, on the one hand, new ways of working and the digital, digital transformation trends that has um, accelerated with uh, especially in the, in the last couple of years with the the the, the COVID pandemic and and and, and uh, uh, increasingly remote uh, uh, working practices um, and uh, in parallel that is a, a never increasing expansion of the attack surface and the digital tra transformation paradigm is increasing the the attack sur surface uh, and. On, on, on the other hand, uh, threat actors are becoming even more sophisticated um, in developing new, new types of uh, uh, threats, especially leveraging artificial intelligence and automation. So kind of this convergence between, on one hand, new ways of work, working and new business processes and operating models around multi-cloud environments combined with uh, uh, new emerging threats, leveraging artificial intelligence and automation is in a way creating a perfect storm for precisely 
um, uh, the, the, the kind of the, the, the increasing intensity potential impact of, of cyber threats. And, and for example, I mean, the, in the financial services industry, uh, financial large banks are investing massively into in-house secure operation centers where they have a kind of a uh, think of a, a net traffic control for security monitoring events. I mean, security operation centers are kind of uh, the, the the centers that are responsible for for maintaining the, the good security posture and, and, and responding to incidents. So um, they, they are facing many challenges in terms of alert fatigue, in terms of a uh, uh, an ever increasing volume of uh, of uh, more sophisticated threats and more sophisticated threat actors. They, um, uh, they 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 are looking to find ways to optimize processes, the, the key performance indicators, um, new technologies. They, they have to keep with the pace of the evolving technology and threat landscape. The, the cybersecurity market, from a technology perspective, is very fragmented. There's lots of technology solutions. So th this is the, the environment that we, we we we're addressing. So. Um, so, so, and, and there are methodologies, there are tools, there are frameworks. So, typically, um, uh, we like to take a, an approach that is, uh, in a way, technology agnostic, looking at the, the frameworks that we can actually implement that will give us the, the visibility on the information security management system, the controls that we, we can deploy and implement. So, there's a number, number of frameworks that are very um, relevant to, to the cybersecurity industry, from, such as the NIST framework. Which is a US standard the ISO 27001 framework, the CIS controls framework. From a threat in intelligence perspective, you, you would also look at the MITRE attack framework, which gives you um, kind of mapping of the threat landscapes. Um, so, 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 so that that is kind of um, uh, this, this approach that we, we, we're taking around frameworks and um, uh, looking at mapping the controls of an organization across application systems. Um, and, and processes, and how do we address those controls from a people, process, and technology perspective? And how do we measure the effectiveness of those controls? And how do we implement technology to precisely drive change and positive impacts in terms of a precisely get, getting that forward-looking, proactive view that will maximize the, the return investment? So that's uh, um, yeah, and, and there's um, and, and the thing is. Um, also, those those frameworks that, that, that we apply are, are industry independent. So, so, so typically, the ISO 27001 can be applied across any industry, whether it's oil and gas, energy, um, banking, and financial services. The, the thing is that each particular industry has the particular challenges. So, when it comes to digital transformation and uh, and, and, and cyber security. So you would approach uh, cyber security differently whether you're you're you're, uh, you're, you're working with a, a, a financial services institution or oil and gas, uh, energy or healthcare. They, they face different challenges. I and mean, the methodologies, the tools, and the techniques and the technology are kind of a common denominator, but the challenges are, are different across industries, uh, which is kind of um, goes into the 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 the, 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 the importance of uh, of uh, driving collaborative frameworks between across industries, especially in the field of threat intelligence. Then like one of the things that is uh, kind of a, a bit lacking in terms of the cybersecurity within the cybersecurity in industry is more collaborative and better collaborative frameworks across industries in particular to for, for enhanced uh, threat intelligence and, and information sharing. If you look at, for example, the NIS directive, um, which is in, in the, the national cybersecurity strategies, uh, in, in the US and in Europe, there is a uh, there is a, a, a clear um, message around how can we foster initiatives uh, and uh, increase collaboration and in, uh, and better collaborative frameworks within the industry.